Karena soal sel regenerasi peremajaan, kita harus mulai dengan telur yang dibuahi. Seperti yang kita tahu, saat kita berada di dalam rahim ibu, sebenarnya kita adalah persatuan sperma pria dan ovum wanita. Wujud ini disebut telur yang dibuahi. Kau pasti penasaran, bagaimana telur yang dibuahi berubah menjadi bayi? Sebagian besar hasil dari pembelahan telur yang dibuahi yang mana sel regenerasi terus diproduksi. Kemudian, selnya akan berubah menjadi osteoblas. Dari situ tulang terbentuk, sel jantung, yang mana bertanggung jawab atas formasi jantung, dan sel hepatik, yang mana diasosiasikan dengan produksi hati. Batang sel terus berbeda, sampai kita keluar dari rahim ibu dan berubah menjadi bayi yang cantik. Every human life originates from a type of wonderful cell. It is both the start of life and origin of the human body. It is known as the autoregenerative cell. At the very beginning of life, an autoregenerative cell would divide and duplicate. But as life begins to take shape, the autoregenerative cells will transform into functioning cells of various forms and functions which will further compose human organs and tissues that work for us throughout our lives. Functioning cells are just like our body. They have age, can grow, and will also get old. But all the regenerative cell is totally different. A cell begins its life as a zygote. Within 18 days since conception, the zygote starts division. Each cell duplicates one another. They have no difference and contain no antigens. These cells are the basis of the whole human body. They are called autoregenerative cells. Autoregenerative cell is the source of life. It is the universal stem cell which creates the human body. On the other hand, generative cell has irreplaceable functions for the human body. It can constantly supply functioning cells, repair damaged cells, regenerate tissues or organs, recover bodily functions, and even degrade and destroy cancer cells or reverse the aging process of human beings. From these two aspects, we can say that regenerative cells give and maintain every human life and are the single most valuable and rare type of cells in the human body. In 1933, German scientists discovered the homing effect of autoregenerative cell. It has proved the magical power of generative cells from the perspective of modern science. Since the 21st century, the generative cell treatment is adopted in clinics throughout the world. Autogenerative cell treatment means injecting new generative cells into the body and let universal cells transform into the functioning cells needed by the body in order to repair and supplement damaged or absent cells. In fact, as autogenerative cells can transform themselves into the functioning cells in human organs and tissues, therefore, theoretically, autogenerative cell treatment can not only treat diseases, but also reverse the aging process and making people young again. It can help cure diseases such as diabetes and Parkinson's disease, and even cancer. It is out of this reason that autogenerative cell treatment is also called universal medicine. <laughs>